Welcome to Entry Point Virtual Church. We're delighted that you have joined us today. Please join me in prayer. We are a very serious people, God. We have problems to solve and things to do. Age has hardened us and maybe we don't feel things as deeply or see things as expansively as we used to. Our vision is often focused on the task at hand, making it easy to miss life's magic. Children, on the other hand, live. They experience. They're curious. Everything is miraculous and everything is new. And then they grow up and this childlike innocence gradually wanes until it's almost gone completely. Today we ask for your help regaining it. Help us to slow down and take in life in all of its wonder this Christmas. To truly feel the feelings, to invest in the important relationships and to celebrate life's simple pleasures. And please help us to make it last. Yes, we want this feeling to last the entire Christmas season and throughout the year ahead. Our world will be a better place as a result. Thank you, God. Amen. If you want to take a break from the world of adulting this holiday season, take a look at a child's face taking in the Christmas lights and decorations, especially very young toddlers. (laughs) The awe and the fascination on their faces is absolutely inspiring. In fact, I get a little bit jealous at how enchanted they are with lights. I want to be that awed by Christmas decorations and lights myself. Oh, to see the world through the eyes of a child, to recapture that goodness, that innocence, that pure heart of a child this Christmas season. I long for that. If you're anything like the rest of the adult world, you have either started or will soon spend time cleaning, cooking, and decorating. You either have or you will soon go to stores to purchase gifts for other people or shop online and then you will wrap all of those presents. Do you sometimes wish you didn't have so much responsibility and independence? Do you sometimes long for the days of your carefree childhood, especially at this time of the year? Robert Fulgram who became popular for his book, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, wrote the following words. It's harder to talk about, but what I really, really, really want for Christmas is just this. I want to be five years old again for an hour. I want to laugh a lot and cry a lot. I want to be picked up or rocked to sleep in someone's arms and be carried up to bed just one more time. I know what I really want for Christmas. I want my childhood back. While we can't really get our childhood back, perhaps it's possible for us adults to try to see Christmas through the eyes of a child. Now, honestly, we don't want to literally see Christmas or anything, for that matter, the way children see it. Did you ever wonder why when kids hang something up on the wall, it's always crooked? (laughs) That's because their eyesight isn't developed enough to tell when objects are slanted. You know how they draw when they're young, they, they draw their house and it's a box and it's always slanted. 
And then they draw the dog in the yard and he looks like he's on real tall stilt legs and looks like he's leaning and falling over. And then they draw mom and dad or whatever adults live in the house with them and one of them might be really big and tall with big bushy hair and kind of menacing looking and then the other adult might be standing next to them and, and they look like a garden gnome. <laughs> Psychologists look at those pictures and, and then they think that the child sees one parent as more important or more powerful, when in reality, it might just be the kid's inability to put people in perspective on paper. Of course, when we say we wish to see through the eyes of a child, we don't really mean to take their literal vision with their strengths and their weaknesses. We mean to step out of our adult worldview and try to adopt a different worldview, one that is filtered by the qualities and perceptions of childhood. Children are deliciously curious by nature. They ask millions of questions and then they ask a million more. They automatically think outside of the box because their curiosity fuels their imagination. They are not limited to the past as we are. I don't think we would ever hear a child say, hmm, but we've always done it this way. Children are often filled with excitement. They don't have to work, so they have a lot more energy than adults do. They run everywhere instead of walking. They speak loudly and they show their emotions. Earlier this week, we put up our outdoor uh, Christmas decorations, and that included several multicolored spiral trees. That evening after dark, the kids who live two doors down from us came up with their parents to look at our yard. The three-year-old boy was so energized after looking at the trees, his face was filled with absolute awe as he stood and stared at the flashing colored lights. I asked him if he liked the trees and he smiled and he jumped straight up and down like he was on a trampoline and then he threw his head back and he looked up to the sky and screamed, yes! <laughs> Remember that feeling of seeing something so beautiful that you couldn't even contain the excitement in your body. You had to just let it out with a yell. Remember what opening up presents was like when we were little kids. No concern for saving the wrapping paper for next year or tenderly removing the bow so that it could be reused for another year. <laughs> Just wild, frenetic joy, opening up the presents, screaming and running around the house or throwing their bodies backwards on the floor and kicking in delight. <laughs> and of course, getting presents is the main feature of Christmas when you're a kid. A woman took her four-year-old granddaughter to big church for the first time. She sat quietly taking in every aspect of the service and her attentive curiosity stayed in check until the pastoral prayer. The pastor stood up and said, we thank you Lord for your presence. The little girl's eyes flew open and she whispered to her grandmother, granny, we're gonna get presents. <laughs> Children have incredible faith in people and in things. Children just believe. They take people at their word and they don't have any suspicion. They trust people. They believe people will take care of them and care about them. And we all know that children are innocent. Every child is wrapped in innocence upon entering this world. You remember innocence. It's that sweet spirit of goodness. 
It goes beyond the ability to trust every person you meet. It's the expectation that all will be well. Of course it will. It's the reason children's faces look that way when they see you smile at them. It's the reason their faces look that way when they lie down without a care or a worry in the world and they sleep peacefully. There's nothing better than a sleeping baby or sleeping child. It's that same beautiful innocence in their face when they look into the lights of a Christmas tree. What if we could somehow reconnect with that innocence and, and with these other qualities of childhood this holiday season? Author Lorna Byrne writes these words. Christmas is a time when we can rediscover and reconnect with the innocence that is inside each one of us and allow ourselves to become more open. When we do so, we start to see the innocence in everyone around us and we become more kind and compassionate this innocence is the true spirit of Christmas. Imagine what that would be like. We would begin to see each other in a different light. We would trust each other more and, and believe the best about each other. If we dropped our jaded, cynical adult worldview for a couple of days or weeks or just until Christmas, and we really thought and saw like an innocent child with a pure heart, <laughs> our lives could be considerably changed. I challenge each one of us to observe children around us very closely right now. They are our teachers. See their tender, innocent faces as they stare into the holiday lights, as they talk about the gifts that they hope for, as they find excitement in things we have long taken for granted. And then let's do a little staring into the lights ourselves. Let's dream about things that we have given up on. Let's focus on the innocence and the gentleness of this season more than ever. And maybe when we open up our presents this year, we should scream loudly and roll around on the floor out of pure delight. <laughs> Let's do whatever we can to experience this Christmas through the eyes of a child. Because let's face it, that's the most magical way to see the world. Amen. Thank you for watching our service today. We hope that you have a wonderful week ahead and that you will join us next Sunday at Connor Prairie.